The investigation continues tonight into the sex scandal at South Fort Myers High School. Lee County deputies are looking into a report of a 15-year-old girl having sex with up to two dozen boys in the school's bathroom. Now, the girl in question has since been withdrawn from the Lee County School District, and multiple players from the football team at the school have been suspended. But has this incident caused changes in the schools across the county? Four your corner, Stephanie Tinoco taking that question straight to the district. Stephanie? Amy, the district is giving us very limited information, telling me it's a sensitive subject and still under investigation. But they do want parents to know they're working to do whatever they can for an incident like this to never happen again. Incident reports only tell us limited information about how a 15-year-old girl had sex with several boys after school hours at South Fort Myers High School without anyone noticing right away, leaving parents hoping this never happens again. Walkthroughs or something like that to maybe check on the kids or maybe maybe not security but just straight supervision. Reports reveal the high school girl admitted to having sex with 25 male students in a short time frame. A graphic video of the incident was plastered all over social media. People should be watching over something like that should never happen in a high school. But who should be held accountable for this incident happening at a Lee County school campus? And will security measures change? I tried reaching out to the district and several school board members with few responding to my request for an interview, referring me to Superintendent Dr. Greg Atkins to discuss any safety measures. Dr. Atkins told me he's working with the Lee County Sheriff's Office on this ongoing investigation and won't be available for comment. He did, however, send a letter to South Fort Myers High School parents saying it's important to address this issue, adding the district is just as shocked to hear the events at South High. And as the investigation continues, they will continue to respond to this incident to ensure it does not occur again. The superintendent admits this is not just an issue of student behavior, but also of supervision, assuring parents that the district will be continuing to work with school principals to improve supervision protocols. Now, one board member did say changes to the student code of conduct have been in the works for a while. They've been working with community members to do more interventions with kids and address decision making. She tells me this is just a few ways they're addressing this incident. Live in the studio, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner.